y'all honestly i haven't even planned what i'm getting but i came to the dollar aisle because i did know there was something i was looking for and they actually have it so right here these right here clorox triple action it says dishwashing detergent so these are like dishwasher tabs or what is this dishwasher tabs because it says detergent they're dishwasher tabs okay so basically we have this coupon for 50 cents off and they're on the dollar aisle for a dollar so of course with 50 cents off you only pay 50 cents so that's something easy to put in your transaction if they actually have these at your store i was surprised that they have these here so i'm gonna go ahead and get these and then i'm gonna look for something else because like i said i haven't planned but these are the coupons that i clipped i clipped this covergirl coupon because i mean there's a couple deals like if you look right here they have some items for um, I think there's some stuff for like $6, so if your store has it, mine doesn't. But if they have those, you can get $4 off. And then um, Airwick, I was thinking about that. Aspirin. These are just the things that I clipped because I was thinking about doing Colgate, Snuggle, just some of this stuff. But I don't know yet exactly which deal I'm going to do. So, we're going to walk around the store and see what they have because, like, honestly, let's walk and talk. Honestly, I thought about the fact that every time I'm up in here... I go from aisle to aisle looking for stuff like I plan before I get here, right? And so after all that planning, it's like I'm in the store and they don't even have what I was looking for. You know what I'm saying? What I plan. So it's like you can spend three hours planning. You don't need to spend three hours, but you can spend like 30 minutes planning the perfect trip, wasting your time, and then you get to the store and everything is out of stock. Today, I was like, I'm just going to come up in here, go from aisle to aisle, see what they actually have, let it play out. So I have one thing in my cart and I'm already over here feeling like a boss because the fact that I was able to find one thing, my first item, that makes me feel kind of like successful. So I'm going to keep this going. I think I will go to like cleaning supplies because that's something that I can typically find. So I'm going to go to the cleaning supplies out and see if they have anything over there. Airwick looks like that's going to be a goal because um, it looks like they have a lot on the shelf of the Airwick and it's buy one, get one free. Have y'all seen this coupon right here? Buy one one get one free by any one airwick scented oil twin refill or scented oil bonus starter kit is this a bonus starter i wonder what the bonus starter kit looks like i don't know it just says buy one get one free oh one walmart and two refills so it wouldn't be that buy one get one free up to six dollars and fifty cents so they look like they have a lot of different stuff on the shelf but i'm hoping they even have some airwick because i don't know there's some down here maybe i'm going to look over here I'm pretty sure I can find something. And I also saw some on the end caps. Oh, this is all glade. There's one lonely airwick right here. Y'all, where is the airwick? Did I miss it? I thought I was looking. But I am not seeing any airwick. I know they have aha right here on the end caps. Why does this say $7.75? Like, is this in the wrong place? $7.75? Oh, this says a three count. Okay, so this one is in the wrong place. Okay, so I found one. I had to look. I thought they would for sure have a lot of air wick because it's just like, it's just like air freshener, right? They have so much glade. Does nobody want glade and everybody wants air wick? It's crazy. Okay, so now I actually have three things in my cart. I have two air wick and one Clorox. That's not a lot, but it's a start. I'm literally on the fence about saying this, but today is actually going very well so far. Like, I probably shouldn't have said that because I don't want to jinx myself. But I'm really surprised that I'm finding stuff. Like, now I'm looking for some Snuggle. Um, oh, man, they don't have the one I was looking for. I was looking for the 40 count. I shouldn't have said anything. Like, you know how when you start saying, oh, my shopping trip is going so well, I'm finding everything. Like, as soon as you start saying stuff like that in the store, whole trip just throw the whole shopping trip away so now i'm actually starting to feel some type of way because like ever since i told y'all that i can't find anything like so i went to the dollar aisle looking for the one dollar colgate that the coupon is working on is this coupon and i went to the dollar aisle they didn't have that i was like cool it's a popular deal i know a lot of people have been buying it of course they might not have it but then y'all i'm over here at the regular colgate and i'm looking for colgate max because at least like this is 275 and I was going to scan the Colgate Max and see if this would work on that one because it has in the past so it would make it only 75 cents but they don't have any more Colgate Max either I know that one was popular before so now I don't really know which Colgate I should be getting and that's the second item that I wasn't able to find so now I'm gonna I just gotta keep looking that's how it is because like it's five off 25 days so a lot of the hot items are sometimes going so this is the actual struggle i'm sad i'm still walking around with the same three items in my cart like this can't be real like at what point did i end up with only three items in my cart 
I should have never started getting excited about everything because that's when things started going bad. So next I'm going to come and get some Garnier because I'm right over here at the hair stuff. So I might as well check this deal out. Garnier is only $3. You can see right there um, the shampoos and conditioners down here are only $3. And we have a coupon. Let me pull up my coupon real quick. We have this one right here for $3 off when you buy two. So I'm going to get two of those. That's $6 and I'm going to use this coupon for $3 off. That makes a 150 each. That's not a bad deal. Let's do this. So my three lonely items finally have some friends. Um, I'm right over here at the St. Joseph's. So I'm just going to grab this because we do have a coupon. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, right here for a dollar off any St. Joseph's product. And it does say that this one is included. So I'm just going to grab one of these. They're $2. The coupon takes off $1. So it makes it only a dollar. That's not bad. So adding this means I only need to spend like five-ish more dollars like four seventy-five ish next i'm gonna get some of this febreze evening woods i've been looking for this oh my gosh i have been looking for this store after store after store nobody ever has any see the reason y'all the reason i have been looking for these so much is because like if you find these at a store most of the times like car clips febreze car clips are like four dollars each but this scent right here is only three dollars so now i can use my coupon this one is $3. Most of the other scents are 4 I'm actually going to get these because we have this coupon for $4 off when you buy two. So I'm going to buy two of these. That's going to be $6 and then I will save $4. See, that's that's a good deal. See, at least now I'm like back in it. I'm finding stuff, you know. I'm feeling pretty good. I shouldn't be saying this because I might mess it up again. So, yeah. So this is what my card is looking like right now. I think I have enough to actually check out because I'm just trying to hit 25. So I have $6 right here. Let me just add everything up real quick. I'm on a calculator, y'all. I got $6 right here. Then I have $6 worth of Garnier, right? And then I have $2 worth of St. Joseph's. So I'm at 14. And then a um, dollar for the Clorox. 15 plus 5.75 for um the air wick and I got two air wicks so plus another 575 that puts me at 2650 if I did everything correctly um or if I got all the prices right so I'm thinking I'm ready to check out y'all like I'm walking to the register making sure I have all my coupons and I know I can't be the only one this has happened to I noticed that I have not even clipped the five off 25 y'all I was about to be so hurt at the register I was about to be so hurt at the register like this has happened to me before y'all for real but not recently like years ago get to the register perfect deal you like my five off 25 didn't come off you know and then i look at my phone boom i never clipped it so don't let this be you do not let this happen to you make sure that's the most important coupon if you're new to coupon in a dollar general these come out every saturday most times they're only good on that saturday and it's for five dollars off when you spend 25 dollars. so you can combine it with coupons and all that kind of stuff like that but it's important you have to clip it in your digital coupons in order to get that five dollars off don't forget to do that y'all my total is only 874 that's actually pretty good because you know that's with tax so i'm kind of happy about that that's with tax i'm going to get my receipt and then i will actually show y'all what it is without tax though thank you thank you yes y'all that was so easy i'm out here smiling they got your girl cheesing up in dollar general i'm out here smiling y'all because it actually went well this was like to some stores and everything goes wrong this actually went well i'm gonna take my little bag of stuff hold on she gave me the receipt let me show y'all right now i will not be scanning this on fetch rewards oh my gosh y'all see this hold on let me turn so y'all can see it better y'all see this receipt what does it even say i don't know but i can see that my total came out to 725 before tax so 725 is what you'll pay for everything plus you got to pay your state and local taxes but yeah this receipt i won't be scanning it on fetch rewards or anything like that to get any points but 725 that's not bad this is the actual struggle of trying to take a picture of your haul for a thumbnail so appreciate the thumbnail when you see it because this is my all the time struggle like i try to set up the stuff on the hood of the car take the picture i should have set it up in the store that was a nice store actually tiffany you are all in my thumbnail what is wrong with you oh. y'all there's tiffany no get back over there you you can stand right there and you're gonna be tiffany in the thumbnail so when people ask why is tiffany 
me and you're done now. <laughs> Girl, if you don't move out my picture, what's wrong with you? I'm trying to take a picture of what they can get at Dollar General for $7. You are not included in that $7 price. Oh, no. Then you say life with Tiffany costs more if, they, if people even want to like hang out with you. Yes. They got to pay at least what? Not seven twenty five. dollars Costs more than that. <laughs> <laughs> you said a lot of dollars. Yeah. <laughs> she said you got to pay a lot of dollars to hang out with her. Y'all, when you see the thumbnail, if it's raggedy, you already know why. The wind and the Florida sun hate us today, so this is the thumbnail right here. This is way more difficult than it should be. Everything is falling. Oh my goodness. Life. Life can be cruel. That's going there. This is going here. I know somebody has a better idea than I have on how I should be doing this. Okay, look, I'm just gonna snap, snap, snap. Picture. Oh, that's a video. What am I doing? What am I doing? Picture, picture, portrait mode, picture, boom. We done. I'm actually about to go into this Mexican restaurant. I've been going here, like, I've been here like five days this week. Oh, that sounds bad out loud. Like in the last, like, two weeks i know i at least been here like five times i always get the nachos and i get burrito tacos so i'm about to go in here oh my gosh i have to tell y'all something if you don't follow me on facebook or instagram let me tell y'all what happened um just nachos um so go all right what kind of meat does you want to do ground beef can you make that actually like two orders of nachos two orders of nachos with ground beef yeah Anything else? That's it. So the whole thing actually started when I posted the picture. Let me let me sit down. I'm gonna sit down and then I'll tell y'all. So the whole thing actually started when I posted a picture of my receipt from this restaurant on Facebook and Instagram, and I posted it somewhere else too. But people started going crazy. Like it wasn't even that serious. I thought it was just something nice, like something good to say. Like I'll, let me show you the receipt. Some of I know some of y'all already saw this though. But this is what the receipt says. Immigrants make America great. They also cooked and served you food today. God bless this great country. I gotta see some of this food coming out the kitchen. Like, God. Anyways, y'all. But yeah, I was like, that was, to me, that was just something really nice. You know, like, you know, God bless America. You know, it's made up of like so many different people. Yay. You know, great restaurant to say, you know, who we support, you know, hardworking people in this great country. I thought that was just a nice sentiment, but people, so like, if I show y'all some of this, I'll put, I'll put the link, because I'm not reposting it, garbage. But I'll put the link in the description box if you want to click on it and see what some people were saying. I would be like, hold up. Like, me personally, I'm not about to like sit there and just offend people like that. Like, I, I don't see how some people, it is so easy for them to talk bad about people, like to talk so bad. How can you talk about people that way? I don't have that in me, but people were saying terrible things. I'm not going to repeat what people were saying, but I'm sure y'all can get some of the things people were saying. Just about this receipt, that is innocent enough. That is innocent enough. Like, none of us are from here, right? Like, everybody is from somewhere else, right? America is made up of everybody migrating here. Most people, like 90% of Americans are from somewhere else, so. I thought that was innocent, but people start tripping. Let me know what you think in the comments. I understand how some people could take it one way with all the tension that's going on in the world right now, but like, it says God bless this great country. Come on. I don't know, but anyway, that's it. Um, I wonder if my food is ready. Y'all, I have become addicted to these nachos. Like seriously, this is what I've been getting now. I know y'all might be like, oh, I got nachos before that look better than that. Yes, 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 yes. There are plenty of places that you can get nachos from that look, uh-huh, look better than this. But <laughs> the taste, they got the homemade, like the in-restaurant made tortilla chips. They are not like out of the bag. These are made in the restaurant. The ground beef is like that authentic, you know, like Mexican ground beef. Like the cheese hits different. Like everything tastes so fresh. It is not like the nachos that you're going to get at Taco Bell. Like the food is bomb, like for real. And I'm looking at other people's food. Let me tell you, some of this stuff, this man got a drink over here with like gummy beers and all that kind of stuff on the top. If y'all know what that is, let your girl know. 
some people are over there with crab legs and some type of bowl or some kind of soup situation that rice going on. I don't know what all this stuff is, but your girl is intrigued. I'm about to see if they have some churros. You said what? That extra dollar counts when it's like, when you're spending $17, it feels like, oh my gosh, I'm coming so much out of pocket. But when you're spending like 16, it's like, oh, I'm saving so much money. I feel like I got a good deal. That's what did you do to get your uh, total to go from 17 to 16? Um, I removed the burrito taco and I got a seafood taco. You removed the burrito taco? The burrito taco was 75 cent extra. Where is your conscience? Because I got, I got a pizza, I got the burrito pizza. Oh, oh, so you have some burrito. And I just got the seafood taco for later. It has avocado in it and like shrimp. seafood taco? Oh, you got a shrimp. It is $4. See, because the crab legs those people are eating on there. Girl, next time I come back, I'm getting some crab legs. I want to know what the drink is, but it's probably something alcoholic, so don't even look at what it is. They just like, I want to know what the drink is. You don't need to know what the drink is. Here come your mama. coming in wearing hot pink. She gonna be mad. She gonna be like, why you put me on camera? There she is right there, walking in. Hey girl, hey! Why are you here? I ordered us a pizza. She ordered y'all a burrito pizza. You did? Oh, that's very nice. Let me, let, me, let me negotiate this for you. So, honestly, um, you should give her like $4 just to offset the cost, because she spent like 16 Okay. Negotiator, I just did that. I did that. Why are you hugging her? Oh, because she's your daughter. I used to hug her more, and when I do, she's like, Because hey. my mom's not hugging me. She's hugging me how she hugs me. Oh, Deja, you're almost 16. You'll be 16 in a few days. How's that feel? I want to go to Top Golf. Top golf? Yes, no, you get to like, there's like three stories of high. Yeah, I know you what swing. Top golf is, but I'm surprised that that's where you want to go. I like golf and tennis. Really? Yes, no, I've always been a tennis person. I, I never knew that. You knew that? <laughs> tennis. Oh, you know, she my mom bought me a Hello day. Kitty tennis racket. I thought I knew you so well. My mom bought me a Hello Kitty tennis racket. When I was like eight, and I never got to play. I, I, I thought you were into like soccer and basketball. I like all those things. Oh, okay. I never got on the team. So you're a multifaceted person. No, I was really good. I just <laughs> never had time to like try out. Like, they, I, they me. I didn't know. They just wouldn't pick me. I know you were good at kickball until you got knocked out cold that one time. You're rocking with the OCC game.